Hello and welcome to this uh, part the of uh, Chaos in the Kitchen. And today we are gonna make burgers. Really good, good burgers. So I'm gonna show you what we have today. We have some uh, some stuffy stuffy. You see here, yes, yeah, some spices. We have some beer, because we need beer. We have a bun, we have a burger, we have a tomato, a big, big tomato. We have chips, because you need chips if you're gonna uh, make food. And that's also why the beer is here, because you don't need it, big, but it becomes easier. Or more fun, at least. Uh, we have some stevia sugar, we have soy sauce, we have rapeseed oil, we got a empty plastic container that we're gonna use to make some sauce. We got some iceberg salad, we got mayo, we got um, chopped cucumber with paprika and onions. Uh, and we got uh, Roasted or toasted um, onion. I think that's everything. So now we're gonna start, and we start with uh, putting this uh, plate on six just to get it heated. And, uh, and then I'm gonna start with. Uh, uh, let tomato. Just put some water on it to rinse it. Oh! <laughs> Camera technique. So, use a sharp knife. Preferably a black knife because they look cooler. And do a really, really tiny, thin slice of beef tomato because we're gonna make vegan burgers, but we at least want some beef. So you can see it's kind of thin. Yep, yep. We put it over there, and then we take an empty container and put the... Oh no, it's too big! We need a bigger container. This is how to make dishes. Don't use your eye measurement before you... Sell it down into the fridge. Bam! Into the dishwasher. Put all your dishes in the dishwasher as soon as you can because you don't want them um, dishes all laying around. Uh, and now I'm done with this uh, fantastic cutting board and this knife, so I'm gonna make them clean! Whoa! Now I put some juice from the tomatoes on the nice cushions that I put under my knees. So you can see me. My sister would love that.
You know, if you, if you, push, 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 do your dishes super fast after you have used the things you're using that you want to dish, then it's not that hard to do the dishes. Now I'm gonna put some oil in here. I like a lot of oil because uh, I'm a oily person. I don't know if that's a word. Um, we're gonna fix this, uh, this uh, ice cream salad. Now this is actually warm enough, so I put it on four out of six. for this but uh, I'm gonna rinse these anyway This is from Anama, it's made of soy, mostly. And it's really good. It's actually the same as is used by McDonald's here in Sweden. And it says on the package that you should only flip it once, but uh, F that because I like to don't follow rules. Not follow rules is probably how you say to correct grammar. Ouch! Super hot oil, wash your fingers. And now I actually want to use that knife again. I'm so bad at planning. Cut up the bun. Cut up. Eviscerate it. Then we need to fix this again. This was, uh, I'm gonna put this on four instead because it was very, I'm not used to using this pan. Put some salt on it, put some black pepper on it. Flip it because rebel, yay. Some white pepper. Some cumin. Take everything that's left if you just had a super little left. 
and then clip it because why not? Put some chili on it. And when I say some, it's because you can choose how much you want. Because if you make this burger, it's your burger. That was the garlic and now we have some smoked paprika. A lot of smoked paprika. Because then you get that smoky feeling. Because 
I'm that kind of person. Uh, you need some refill because you want to be yourself for a while. Ah, and now to a really good thing I learned from a YouTube chef. Put your bones in here for just a little bit. Uh, 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 where's the time? I can't see the time. Oh, 15 minutes. It's probably done that burger. And then you just put them back here. And then I put that back on six because I want this to go quickly. Put some sugar on it. You can use the regular sugar. I think that's actually better. But this is because we lie. The bun to have a little bit of caramelization. So now we're gonna try to get this uh, sugar caramelized. And then we can take away the sugar. So, did anything happen here? It hasn't melted just yet. Caramelization! Boom, ba -da, boom, boom! Caramelization! Ba -da, ba -da. Uh, eat some chips while we're waiting. Now it is done. <laughs> and you can be in here for a while just to make yourself real nice and warm. I shut off the plate again, don't worry. Don't worry. And then we take this sauce and put it upon the buns. You want a lot of sauce, like you want it to you want the sauce to like engulf the burger. Don't become more black, please, little burger. And now we're gonna put some roasted, toasted onion on both sides. And it's important to have a lot of it. You need like half a kilo on each burger. Otherwise, uh, something bad will happen. This is not enough. 
but for the purpose of this video, I'm okay with it. You can't even see it. Put down the tomato and fold your salad so it fits the burger. Very important. Lamb. And then put on your burger. And then put on the burger lid. And make sure that you don't uh, you don't uh, lose any of the the, the uh, toasted roasted onions. Just a bit. So there. clean up to your side. So, this is the burger. This is the preferred drink. And this is the this dessert. My mother would call this a Dagobert burger. I call it a regular burger. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the futures. Bye bye.